Hello everybody. So today I have a quick video just comparing uh, the performance differences between a M.2 SSD, uh, a solo SATA SSD, and then two SSDs I have in RAID 0. If you're not quite familiar with what RAID 0 is, it's, uh, it's known as striping. So basically what you do is you configure the two drives to appear as one volume and data is evenly written across uh, each volume that you have in the RAID configuration. Uh, this is a RAID setup that doesn't have any fault tolerance or redundancy, so if you lose a drive, you lose everything. Um, but what it does provide is it's supposed to be faster for read-write, and also you can take two small disks and make them into one large volume. Now, I had read and heard, uh, without really looking into it too much, that RAID 0 does not offer a great deal of performance benefits to SSDs. However, based on my testing, you could see that the RAID 0 SSDs, um, the read and write tests are a little bit faster. I mean, kind of enough to, to actually make it worth doing. I primarily did it uh, for, for the space. This is where I install all my games. So I just wanted a large volume that was also SSD to game off of. Um, after upgrading to an M.2 for my OS, I think I'm just going to leave this other SSD on its own. But um, that's basically that. So for the testing, as you can see, I did 32 kilobytes up in, up to 1 megabyte, uh, total length of 1 gigabyte with both sequential and random read-write tests. Uh, to compare the solo SATA SSD versus the uh, M.2 SSD, I just did this so... As you can see, on all of the tests, uh, the M.2 SSD is quite a bit faster than the SATA SSD. And I pretty much expected that, but just to give you a vis visualization of how much faster it is, uh, here are the results. So if you're considering upgrading to an M.2, even if you're using an SSD, uh, it is definitely worth it. I do actually have one hard disk drive in the system, but it's four terabytes and uh, I think it's 5,900 RPM. So it is slow. I didn't really want to do it because I figured most people that still have hard disk drives are probably using 7,200 RPM, which is uh, a little faster than the, than the 5,900 RPM, obviously. But uh, uh, it, it wouldn't really be worth doing, and I primarily just wanted to compare SSDs here. So, as you can see, it is worth the upgrade, even if you want, if you have multiple SSDs and you want to put them in RAID 0. Uh, it that, That's something else that seems to be worth it. Um, I guess others might disagree. One thing to note if you're going to do something like that is you'd have to copy all data off the SSDs you have and then reformat them into RAID 0 and copy everything back onto the SSDs. Uh, but that's basically it. I'll have a link to this tool. It is free. I just use it to uh, do some cloning when I moved over to the M.2, and then also it seems to be handy just for doing general partition management. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and as always, thanks for watching.